Now we're going to have a look at how you would go about marking homework that has been set through Firefly. So we want to go to your set tasks, we want to manage your set tasks. I'm going to go through the shortcut method from the top, find the task that it is you're, that you're marking. Uh, for me this is going to be this one. Now I've only sent it to one person and one person has completed it but this could just as easily be 30 people and 29 people have completed and I'm ready to mark this piece of work that has just been completed and I'm going to mark now. Now this opens up the task but actually shows us uh, the marks. So this was multiple choice and they've got a mark for that because they've clicked on the correct answer. Uh, I've got a position there to give feedback if I want to, you don't have to, but it's there if you want to useful feature here is um, although this is multiple choice and it wouldn't have been the case but if it's probably better for this question actually because this is a text entry answer now at the moment I'm manually marking this um, so you can give the marks as you feel is, is correct there are some ways though that you can ask for um, the student to type in the answer and you've programmed what the correct answer is so if the answer was Firefly for this one and the student had typed Firefly but spelt it incorrectly and the computer had automatically marked it as wrong you could change that mark and say oh no well done but just watch the spelling so there's all sorts of little changes you can do but um, just to keep to the simple one at the moment so multiple choice was correct this one was a text entry answer, so it hasn't automatically given any marks. I'm happy with that mark though, uh, with that um, answer, so I'm going to give it one mark. I've got room for feedback. Very good. You have clearly thought about this question. Uh, I skipped the bit about uploading the, the image, but if I was happy with the, the image or the PowerPoint or the Word document, whatever it was that they uploaded, I could give a mark for that. Um, and once again, obviously, whatever feedback you think is appropriate. So they've got three out of three. I've got an option for further feedback. Uh, you are progressing well in this subject doesn't always have to be just sort of positive feedback you could put something a little bit constructive um, in there as well uh, to further improve uh, I would recommend watching some more oops, tutorial videos and then add a grade or a level uh, I'll say a start and then when we save marks and feedback that will record all of that data. That then returns you to the task summary screen and obviously I've only got the one piece of uh, entered work here but you could have a summary of all your work here uh, submitted for that assignment uh, showing what mark you've given, what grades you've given, what feedback you've given overall uh, and if a student had given a response you could see their response as well. You could clear the whole submission and start again. If you prefer to work in Excel you could export all of that data and those marks straight to Excel if you wanted uh, and lots of other little uh, sort of features but for now that's certainly the the important things to, to know with that. Now I completed that assignment marking on a laptop but it could just as easily have been done on a laptop or even a phone. Um, even on a small phone the screen gets resized and you can still mark work so completing and marking work in sort of you know holidays if you're away uh, we've all done it so it just means you've got to carry a lot less sort of things around with you uh, and those that spare half an hour here or there can really be used very effectively without carrying 20 ring binders and uh, having red pens and green pens on you at all times. Okay. As soon as you've marked a piece of work the, um, the results are instantly pulled through to your mark book uh, which is your way of tracking the data and progress of your learner. Now um, using my account I can't uh, I can get to the mark book but not as easily as a teacher can because a teacher uh, is linked to classes and therefore you have a direct link to the mark book. So I've jumped over to someone who has teaching classes and at the very top you'll see mark book.
click on that uh, and it will take you through to where all of the data will be found. Now, as we haven't started the year yet, there's no data here, so I just need to jump back over to my account to show you what a MarkBook looks like. Now, I'll have to go to it by going to my set tasks and going into a task that I've set and going to MarkBook. So what you would see in there um, are different tasks um, and different groups depending on how many different groups you've got. Um, so here is all the people that I sent the task to, what grades they were given. So at a glance I can see all those different uh, those different grades and marks and then if you wanted to also there is that option to export to Excel so that's mark book that's how you would keep track of all that data uh, completely paperless as well